figured it's time to step up the crazy. Something that's been bothering me are the, <clears throat> excuse me, the door jams. This section here is swirled out and it's largely from, um, you know, wiping the dirt off and not, you know, not using the same procedure as the rest of the car. It's kind of hard to, unless you want to spray the interior out. So what I'm doing now is just wiping the excess polish off. Um, one disadvantage to the 4500 is that you do get quite a bit of polish residue and little particles all over the car. So I'm going to knock out the door jams, but I wanted to do these. I wanted to correct these and then treat them before I went out and washed the car. That way they'll dry easier. All right, so that was the first step. What I'm doing is using the mini with my two inch backing plate and then a polishing pad. The reason why I'm not using microfiber is one, I want it to finish down a little in one step and two, it'd be a little, it's a little close to the edge here. I'm not going to polish this part because you really can't see it. I might, I'm going to do this right here and then this. Um, but the microfiber is just a little too, you know, hit, hitting up against here. This gives me, gives me a lot more room to, to work with. I'm on uh, speed five. Kind of get up in there as, close, as far as I can. I'm not worried about perfection here, I just want to look decent. So I'm going to do the rear here as well, and then the rear obviously isn't as long, but there's just a little small section that I wanted to get. It's been driving me nutty. So um, I already did the other side, so I checked it with a light. That was about all I needed just to get this looking decent. So when I'm out there washing the car, I don't see swirl marks or straight scratches. Um, so what we'll do next is um, I'm going to do a, a car pro. What the heck is it called? Got it right here. Oh, eraser. So I'm going to eraser this whole area and then we're going to use Sonax polymer net shield. The reason why I like to use Sonax in, in this area is you can get it on the trim and actually does a good job of getting the, getting the trim nice and clean. So um, I guess you could probably do power lock as well, but polymer net shield lasts longer. So I have always used that on the, on the, 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 the door areas. Um, uh, and I think this is probably the first time I've ever actually polished the door trim. 
Um, but I'm gonna do the rear here real quickly. I'm gonna polish that real quickly, and then we'll um, then we'll erase the whole thing, and then just do some quick quick net shield on it. Rupes Nano would be pretty darn useful. Maybe when I get rich and famous, they'll send me one, or I'll be able to afford one. I think they're like five or six hundred bucks. I don't know if it's out yet, but they're super expensive, and the amount I'm going to use it is not a whole heck of a lot. All right, so I'm going to eraser this. If I can find the towel. And again, I haven't done the outside of the car, so it really doesn't matter if I get it. Because I'm going to erase the rest of the car. somewhere. Oh, I threw it in the back seat. So the philosophy here is that I want the door jams treated because I'm going to go out and wash the car again and just get this over with rather than washing it, then potentially scratching it. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just making it up as I go along here, so don't give me a hard time. It's 6.30 in the morning on Saturday. Well, everybody else is sleeping. I'm out here OCDing in the garage. <laughs> Doing, cleaning my darn door jams. Pol not cleaning, polishing my door jams. You know, it's part of the gig, I guess. You want to be focused? Crazy comes with it. <clears throat> See, to me, this kind of stuff is fun. I'm getting the inside pocket of the door here cleaned out. <clears throat> funk going on in here. That looks better. Oh, let's hit that. A little more eraser. Seems to be working. Yeah. 
don't do that to your paint. Rub it like that. Okay. So now, I'll do some Homer Net Shield. Whatever I did with that. I've had this darn bottle for years. And it's like filled here. Let's do the other side. Probably shouldn't get this stuff on your hands. So I'm gonna go right over the, the door trim. That's what's great about polymer net shield. I mean, you can use it on anything. Like I used it on the, uh, the plastics of the GT3. Works really well. I stole that from Phil at Detailer's Domain. And this is wipe on, wipe off. You don't want to let it dry. So I'm just gonna wipe it on and wipe it right off. And I just, and again, I'm not stressing about every, every crevice. I'm just kind of slapping it in here and then I'll wipe it out. <clears throat> and then this will just make it easier to dry. So that's door jam, dialed, clean. In case you were ever planning on doing something like that, that's how you do it. And I get, you could take more, you could get Q-tips out and go crazy. Uh, everybody has a different level. I don't fault anybody for going the next step. But that's that's about the extent of the discipline I'm going to get into, especially on my crappy daily driver. Right. Anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna go out and wash the car now. I'll spare you that, and then we'll come in and do last step. And there's one last spot that was really bothering me. It's right here. Much better. Again, we could finish polish that, but good enough. I'm gonna clean off the trim real quickly here just to make sure. This is Adam's APC. Let this sit for a few minutes. So just use Adam's APC and then I'm gonna scrub it with a bug sponge. You can get out. You can get out. 
Oh, we. Ah! That hurt. No. Take your socks no. off. Take your socks off. No. You got to clean up all these cars, buddy. What? You got to clean up all these cars. Oh, Oh, okay. All right, so got the APC, a little soap. Just want to get the rubber trim clean. Doing my best to not scratch the trim around it. Yeah, pretty dirty. What are you doing, Katie Bell? So I'm definitely going to need to get shut off valves. So now I need to switch back to the other quarter inch nozzle to put the foam gun on. Hey, no, 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 no. All right, I'm gonna do the trim real quickly. The windows look good, so I'm not gonna do any coating to the windows. But the trim was looking okay, but since I've stripped everything off of it, now it looks terrible. Let's see. towels. So I'm just doing this to prep for Gion trim. I'll get another six months or so out of the nice satin looking rubber trim rather than hideous looking dirt trim. Hey, look at that. that around a little more IPA this is 91% IPA so I mean you obviously wouldn't want to let this sit on here forever and you know this could sort of dry out the leather or not the leather but the, the rubber which I'm sure it does but that's why we're gonna treat it with a coating I've never had any problems with leather cracking or anything. Maybe if you're planning on keeping the car for 20 years, then might, you might want to think about using IPA. But I don't really have any empirical evidence on whether it's good or bad. So 
I'll do this, I'll finish this last after I do the, because it really doesn't matter, but I'll do this last after I'm done with the, um, the paint, putting the sealant and wax on. Or what I'll probably do is just do it in between one of the, one of the layers. So now the rubber's ready to go. All right, so I'm gonna knock out the trim. You need to be, I don't wanna say careful, but if you want this to not look streaky, you've gotta control it. <clears throat> Let's open the door a little bit. So in other words, you can't just lay it on there and then leave it. You have to sort of smooth it out. Shoot. That's what's wrong with this. It was disintegrating. I'm just going to put this on by hand with the Stuff really makes the trim look great. So, you know, put it on smoothly and take your towel and wipe off the excess so that it looks even. Same thing here. Anything down in the crack. And then we'll get this one. And then I'll come around and do this again. So I'll do two coats. So with this stuff, whatever it looks like, wet is the way it's gonna look dry. So make sure you apply it evenly. But it's really not hard to do. I mean, you're looking at the extent of it. Get a little bit more on here. This bottle is 40 bucks, but I, my guess is it's going to last a long, long time. Assuming it doesn't harden like some other coatings do. And then we'll do this right here. A 
That's it. Trim's dialed. So normally we would be better off. Um, let's see what color is this. Doing it before I put the <clears throat> the power lock on. That one's blue. And I actually don't have the right color. This is from my Carrera S. But mineral white doesn't match anyway, so this would be just fine. All right, so <clears throat> here's the kit. <clears throat> Excuse me. Very, very simple. Shake up the paint with the Dr. Color Chip stuff. So there's the Dr. Color Chip. Here's the Seal Act. Which way use the seal and I'm gonna wipe, wipe it down with some IPA, the spots that I'm gonna do. These little spots and I'm gonna remove the the power lock I'm not really worried about. I'll just colonite over it. Let this sit up for a little while. All right, so I got a paint chip right here. Got one down here. And one right here. And I got one little one right here. And one on the door. I think that's it. Four of them. Five of them. So, you know, I'm at 16,000 miles. <clears throat> I haven't had to look at clear film. I've got five chips, and they're all pretty insignificant. I'd rather have five little chips than have to look at plastic on my car. I mean, I don't fault anybody else for doing it. You can trip out. I just don't like it. It's my choice. All right. Do his dab next to it. Smear it in. I gotta mix this more. That's better. Dab it in there, next to it, smear it in the hole. You just dab right next to the hole for the chip. And last one over here. All 
Now we get the seal act. Let me clean it off. And it's not perfect. Just get all the excess off. And then use some sort of a microfiber, wipe it, wipe it off. Can't even find the other one. Where the heck was it? That one didn't go so well. I'll do it again. I'm not scrubbing, I'm just wiping until the white goes away. The white residue, or the white that isn't in the hole. The other thing I wanted to do while we're here, just do a little atoms in and out. Adam's foam block, carpal pearl. 